Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, before we start this video, I just want to give you a disclaimer that this modification you do require to have the Boston Acoustics or the premium audio for the five gens, uh, which has an amp in the back or in the trunk of your car. So if you do not have the Boston Acoustics, this modification will not work for you. What I'm going to be doing is uh, replacing my amp. I have the Boston Acoustics, like I said, and I'm going to be replacing it for an aftermarket one. That way, all the speakers are amplified. If you if you followed me before, you know that I changed my front speakers, my dash, and I the only thing I need is my, my six by nines. So, I mean, there's no point of changing them if you're not going to amp because I mean the same power is going to go through your speakers. So, what this modification is going to do is going to allow me to put an aftermarket uh, amplifier, but without having to cut wires, having to do none of that. But I'll explain that in the unboxing later. So for now, uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. Hello guys, well here we are in the unboxing table. Take a look at the new decorations I got. It's gonna be a six gen lamp and then a Stormtrooper helmet. As you know in the title and in the intro, we are gonna be installing an aftermarket amplifier in the car. Uh, and you can do this by many ways, you know, running different wires or just cutting the, the Boston Acoustics amp. And then you kind of have to do your own little thing. In this case, we have a harness that allows you to do it and it's plug and play. So what you do is that you just unplug the, the harnesses from your bus and acoustics, plug them in here, and then uh, that would be pretty much how you gotta do. So that allows you to keep the chimes and a lot of stuff that you need, plus the hassle. Now, like I said, it is pricey, which is why I'm reviewing it. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I have it right here. This thing should come with two extra harnesses that allow you your rear speakers to play full range. If you ever heard your speakers from the 6x9s, they don't play the full range, however they can. And these harnesses allow you to sound way better in the rear. I know sometimes, I mean, honestly, for me, the rear, you really don't take it, you mean, the front speakers is the main thing of the speakers. So we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing this. So in case you're wondering, these were like $135, I believe. And you gotta pay shipping to around $140. It's pricey, just for cables, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm guessing these are the ones for the rear that I was talking about. And the good thing is that at least the connections are from the back. So you don't have to take everything apart and put it, which I thought I could, but I then I clicked in that the connections are done from the back. I can do is plug in, plug in, simple. But this is the thing. This right here is going to give you your four outputs, left and rear. And those are the ones that you're going to be getting from here, as you can see. So this right here will convert it. And this one right here is where you're going to get your... Your speakers. So you're going to connect it right here with your speakers go. And then you would connect this to the, to the actual car. So this goes from the car to the amplifier, and this goes from the amplifier to the car. So it, you, you basically just replace it, plug and play. It shouldn't be hard, this shouldn't be a long video. And so like I said, we will be reviewing the harness. Now whatever amp you decide to put, if you decide to put a, a let's say a more expensive amp or a better amp, then it's gonna sound way better than mine will. If you're gonna go cheaper, it's gonna sound totally different from mine so I won't be really reviewing the amp I'm gonna be reviewing the harness and in a way I'll be reviewing my setup so let's just go ahead and install this right now all right guys well here it is uh, like I said this video is mostly about this harness right here so I did the standard installation for this amp which would be the power line to this distribution block since I am having a, I already have an app this takes one and it, and it inputs or outputs two of them so one of them is going to this amp and the other one is going to the other app that I already have so I just have to do that connection over there now this right here you do all the connections how they correspond so they're marked already and like I said this is your outputs this connects to your car if you look on this side this connects to your car. Here's where you get your RCAs. Again, they're marked. 
And then here I had to do some conversion that I would be showing some pictures or some videos right now. You gotta put a little capacitor and then uh, connect it to ground. In this case, I'm gonna use this ground since it's already ground for the amp. And the other wire you see there is gonna be the remote. This is gonna tell the amplifier when to turn on and this is connected right here. So all we have to do in the car is just plug this in, plug this in, connect the power line. Like I said, I already did the ground. So these, these are the negative positives. They all have the same. And then you just make sure you connect these right here, the RCAs, the way they intended to on this side. So let's go ahead and go outside and go ahead and make our connections. All right, so my connections are done. That's the power, and this right here is the ground. And then here's gonna be the location of the amp. This is the Boston Acoustics. Here. And these are the connections that we're gonna get rid of, and then we're gonna put the new ones. So here in a bit, I'll go ahead and, and show you how it's done. As you can see, you just get the car one into here. We'll find our second one. And that should be it. Right there should be the, like I said, we already did all the connections in advance, so we don't have to do them right now. So let's go ahead and test the car real quick. All right, well, I had to cut the video uh, mainly because it did not happen as I expected. And in that video, you said, okay, let me go turn on the car and I'll be right back. I turned on the car, it was a lot of staticky noise going through all the speakers, you could not hear anything of music. So anyway, I went on the forums and uh, I checked and they do recommend for you to get an isolator, a ground loop isolator it's called, I'll put a, a picture of the, of the device that I bought on eBay. That totally worked, uh, that made the product usable, you know, I connected it, I was kind of scared, connected it, it worked. So. I wasn't gonna upload that video, so you're gonna see how it's interrupted. You know, it's, it's like, oh, I'm gonna go check the car, and then boom, this video. That's the reason why I wanted to come up with a solution. So I'll go ahead and link that product as well. And then I'll show you what connections I did. It's, it's a pretty simple connection. And let's go ahead and go to that real quick. All right, well, here's the old amp. And this is what I was trying to show you. Here's the ground loop isolator. Like I said, the connection is pretty much simple. Just make sure you connect how they're supposed to here and there once again. And this is how I have my amp right now. I do want to probably conceal it in here. I just want to make it cleaner though because that does not look clean at all. You kind of want to clean that up a little bit. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. Let me go ahead and head back inside. All right, well, we're back inside. So yeah, as you can see, it was pretty much simple. Now the speakers, all the speakers work. The only thing I do want to tell you that the dash speaker does not work with the harness. I did how to get some connections done myself. So I did how to strip some wires in order to do that. And if you're interested, you know, hit me up on Instagram or even on the comments below and I'll tell you how I do it. I know the dash is not for everyone, but if you're really concerned about that, I'll show you how to get it working. I already got it working and everything. So as you can see, it was an easy install. The install was just as simple as taking some connections off, putting the new ones. The hardest part is just pretty much setting it up in order to connect it. So it's a good mod. Uh, once you install the amp, like I said, my amp is a cheap amp, you know, and honestly, it blew my mind how it sounds. It sounds way better. You know, you could go at higher volumes, zero distortion. It's just much clearer. And I haven't even changed my six by nines. That's all I have to do. And it already sounds good, man. Uh, it was it was i don't know why i didn't do this mod before you know those things that damn i should have done it earlier just of how good of improvement it did into my car so i do recommend this now like i said you have to have the boston acoustics amp if you don't have it then this video will not be for you so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this mod a nine out of ten uh why a nine and not a ten and that's just because i had to go buy that extra thing i know not everyone needs it it all depends on the car and on your installation but on my case, I had to buy it. But so my recommendation is just install it. If that's if that happens to you, you already know what to look for and what to expect. Just go ahead and buy that thing, and it's I'm pretty sure it will work for you as well. 
so anyways thanks for watching i hope you like this video and there's more to come so just stay tuned